Hello there familie, welcome back to my channel and uh, happy 2019, happy new year guys. Um, it's been 2019 for a minute and I, can I believe it's 2019? Anyway, I'm just, I'm happy to be back. Um, today, by the title, you guys know I'm gonna recap my favorite products of 2018, my literal holy grail of 2018. And actually a lot has changed. 2018 was the year where I tried so many products. I liked so many products. So which ones were the ones that stuck? And in my creme de la creme, which ones and which brands came out on top? So I'm gonna share that with you guys. It's just gonna be super chill in this video because I, I feel like being super chill with y'all. Y'all wanna be super chill? Um, this video is gonna be less editing. It's just gonna be me chilling with you guys. I got my little list with products. Um, I don't have anything to drink because I'm fasting, so pray for me, y'all. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Let's get into it. So, I want you, like, every time I say uh, maybe a category, I'm gonna do like shampoos, whatever, whatever. And then if I say my shampoo, See if you can guess which my favorite, uh, what my favorite product, products were. And if you got more than five right, yeah, I don't know. That's going to be kind of hard because I don't share anything. If you just get anything right, comment the number of products that you guessed right. Yes? Let's get it. Okay. So we're going to start with shampoo because for years I've been avoiding shampoos like the plague. I don't know if they, I don't know who I thought I was, but I was avoiding shampoos. And 2018 was the year where I fell in love with shampoos. Cause I got a little porosity hair. I need shampoos. So, my favorite shampoo. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to guess this. An honorable mention was the shampoo that went along with this conditioner. The Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Shampoo. This one is, the shampoo of this is amazing. You can detangle your hair with it. It's not too stripping, but it gets your hair clean. So I love this shampoo. The shampoo that goes along with this conditioner. This conditioner is, uh, it's okay. Um, but there was a new one that came in in like the last few months of 2018 and gave Maui Moisture a run for their money and that was See if you can guess it. I don't know if you're going to be able to guess it. This one. This bad boy, my Yell Organics Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. This was a newer launch by my Yell. It's really good, guys. It is really good. Not only does it strip... No, nah, let me say it like this. Not only does it clean your hair without stripping it, but it detangles your hair. A shampoo... Ugh, this. Buy it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time or my words. Buy it. See it for yourself. So that was like, those two were the shampoos of the year. I tried other shampoos, which I did like. The uh, shampoo by the Main Choice. The Main Choice has some good shampoos. I'm not going to lie. But I just found myself reaching for this one more during the year. And then by the end of the year, I was only using this. So... That says something. So honorable mention also goes to the main choice shampoos. Like I've tried two from the Tropical Moringa line and their basic shampoo. Oh, amazing. Okay, so uh, conditioners, right? And we're gonna do rinse out conditioners. Um, hello. If you don't know this, listen. I, I'm gonna need you to check yourself if you don't know what my favorite rinse out conditioner is or my favorite leave-in conditioner if I'm feeling feisty <laughs> the soft essentials tropical coconut conditioner I love this conditioner I use it as a rinse out because this is really good for low porosity hair guys it's amazing it sinks into your hair really well my husband was able to find big bottles of this so that's one of the reasons why I love him. That's why I married you, boo. If you're watching this, that's why I married you. Okay, anyway, let me not get too ratchet. Um, This is my favorite. Has been my favorite for years. I have yet to find another conditioner that is as inexpensive as, as, inexpensive as this. 
and it does just as an amazing job. I love you. <laughs> Honorable mention though for rinse out conditioners goes to once again, bam, Mayel. Once again, the pomegranate and honey collection. They have their new moisturizing and detangling conditioner. So I bought these two together at the end of the year. And this one is almost finished. I know, it's almost finished. I need to go buy another one of this. I need to see if we have this in Holland now because it is amazing. The, the funny thing about these products is they're formulated especially for type 4 hair and I, I can feel the difference. So I have to say when it comes to the pomegranate and honey collection, I need to buy more. I need to buy the styler, I need to buy the leave-in. They will be taking my money in 2019 and hopefully, you know, they'll be giving me some money for sponsorships or, you know, free product is also good. I, is it tacky to say that? It, it, it could be tacky. But in 2019, we're just going to speak out stuff that we would like to see. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Because, yo, buying products for these videos is expensive. So all of the brands that want to holler at me, um, I let you girl. Anyways, deep, oh, deep conditioners. This one, this one was so hard. I, I can't possibly, can't possibly choose just one. I'm going to try. Um, I have three nominees, okay? Um, the first one, you should know this. You, which is the first one I'm going to say? Did you say Shea Moisture? If you said Shea Moisture, you are correct. <laughs> so the first nominee is like my holy grail. I've been keeping this bad boy a secret for some years now. Um, The Manuka Honey. Okay, the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This bad boy is amazing. Like I've already said multiple times. The other nominee for like <laughs> the best. The best deep conditioner is, once again, Mayel. I have a lot of Mayel Organics products here. Spoiler alert. Um, they're protein-free hydrating conditioner from the Mogongo Oil line. I will never forget how I reacted when I first tried this deep conditioner. It was amazing. So I really like this one as well. This gives you a silky feeling to your hair. It is very moisturizing and it is protein free. About the Holy Grail, y'all already know, it has some protein but it's so moisturizing. It is really nourishing for your hair. Where this coats your hair to make it feel silky, this makes your hair feel silky without it feeling coated. It's like for different occasions, you know? And then the other nominee is a little bit taboo. Because 2018 was the year of the rise of Maui Moisture and also the cancellation of Maui Moisture. But I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like this mask though. It is the Maui Moisture Smooth and Revive Vanilla Bean Hair Butter. And... I like it. You can use it as a hair butter to leave in your hair, but you can also use it as a deep conditioner. As a deep conditioner? Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is bomb. It leaves your hair moisturized. It's a thick butter, but it still melts into your hair. Like, this one is thick. Like, she thick. And the thing is, you have to dilute her if you have low porosity hair. You're going to have to dilute this one. But the Maui Moisture one is thick. It is moisturizing. But some, some way, I don't know how they did it, it still melts into your hair. So if I would have to choose one, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, yeah, I can't. I, I'm not going to. I'm choosing these three. Okay. Mm, leave in. Okay, so for my leave-in conditioners, I'm going to give an honorable mention to my holy grail of holy grails, which is the Kinky Curly Not Today. I don't have it with me because in Holland, these products are expensive and I can't always buy it. But Kinky Curly is like the goat, like the holy grail. So Kinky Curly Not Today uh, is really good, very nourishing, like amazing for high porosity and low porosity hair. If you have a chance to buy it, 
buy it. Uh, but 2018 was, I have my list, that's why I'm looking down. But 2018 was like the year of discovering hair milks. Before this year, I had, before last year, I mean, I had never used a hair milk. So, my holy grail leaving. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Okay, boom. The Mayel Organics Avocado, Avocado, why am I saying? Ugh. Avocado <laughs> Moisturizing Hair Milk. This is really nice. It is not too thick, but not too liquidy. It is moisturizing. It does have some protein, but it's really good. It is really, really nice. Um, another honorable mention is also the uh, Shea Moisture Hair Milk, the pink bottle. I'll put all of the products that I mentioned in the description box, by the way. Um, but this is really nice. I like it. Um, another honorable mention is not a uh, hair milk. It is a rinse out or leave-in conditioner by the main choice. Uh, tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Rinse Out or Leave-in Conditioner. This is, ugh, I would, I don't use this as a rinse out conditioner because I love it that much. It is so moisturizing. Like the only reason why I haven't used this for months is because I'm all, almost out and I don't want to say goodbye yet. That, that's so weird. Do you do that? Like if you want to keep a product, you don't use it because you know it's going to run out. But then what's the use of having it because you're not using it? Yeah, I'm weird. I'm weird. Maybe it's just me. Oh, let's see, let's see. Ooh. I put a category in here. My favorite DIY. Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera all the way. Um, Aloe Vera as a DIY scalp treatment, which is amazing. Aloe as a sealant. Aloe as a face mask. Aloe. Yeah. All the way, all the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, next up. Gel. Mmm, I'm gonna have to get up for this. One second. One second. Boom! Boom! Eco Styler Gel. Not just any Eco Styler Gel. Eco Styler Gel Argan Oil. This is Bay. I don't think there ever will be a gel that will defeat this, so... If y'all see that as a challenge, make a gel. Uh, and then an honorable mention once again goes to Kinky Curly Curling Custer. I don't have it with me, like I said, they're expensive though, in Holland. They're not that expensive in the US as they are here. But anyway, um, I love that gel. It doesn't hold my hell, my hell. Woo! No, 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 no. It does not hold my hair as well as the Eco Styler gel. But it is so nourishing that I just cannot stop picking it up. So um, when I go on holiday, I'm planning on going on holiday this year. I'm going to buy like a big tub and I'm, I'm, I'm going to use it again. And we're going to see how we can make it work for curl definition for type 4 hair. Because it doesn't hold my hair but it nourishes it, nourishes it so well that I want to keep using it. So honorable mention to Kinky Curly. Kinky Curly be doing stuff, okay? Okay? Hmm, I don't want to make this video too long, so I just have two more things. My favorite butter. This one was hard because I didn't really find butters before this year that were really doing it for me. So I have three nominees once again. Nominee numero uno is the main choice. Doesn't get much butter than this. This. Ah, uh, this. Oh, another nominee is... Once again, the main choice. The main choice, Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. In the summer, I literally use this nonstop. And another nominee I don't have with me right now, but it is the Camille Rose Natural, either the Jai Twisting Butter or the Gel Butter. They have a gel butter. I'll put the names in the description box. Camille Rose makes some good products though. So um, my goal for 2019, it's I'm being dramatic. It's not my entire goal for the entire year, but like the next brand that I want to do like a full wash day on, Camille Rose. Uh, but like I said, products in Holland. Hmm. The money, eh? The money. Oh. Anyway, 
Uh, but yeah, between these two and then the Camille Rose, I would say for winter, which we're in right now, technically in Holland, even though it's raining all day, I would go for the main choice one because this is a sealant. It seals my hair against the moisture. The summer, when I want something with glycerin to really like attract the moisture to my hair, either this one or the Camille Rose Butter. And then the Camille Rose Butter would win because it has better ingredients than the Maui Moisture and it is more nourishing for the hair. Yeah. And then the last category would be my favorite oil. I noticed that this year I started using less oils. I used to be all about the oils, but for some reason, I'm using less of it. So, the only oil that I can say is my favorite, favorite, favorite is once again by Mayel. <laughs> There's a lot of Mayel in this video. The mint almond oil. I I didn't, I got this in my treasure, tre treasure tress box uh, of November, so it hasn't been with me, with me for so many months. But this is really nice for your scalp though. It gives you such a tingling, refreshing sensation. You can just feel your hair, your, your scalp producing more hair. It's like, yes, grow baby, grow. So, um, those were my favorite products. I don't wanna make this video too long. So I would say, are there products where you were like, I knew she was gonna pick that, you're so predictable. Or were there stuff in here where you're like, Girl, you've been holding out on us. I didn't know you were going to pick that. Uh, let me know. I would love to know. And, ooh, I have one bonus thing. My favorite videos to make this year. I also wrote them down. Ooh, the ASMR video. Doing an ASMR video, I thought it was really fun doing it. I might do another one. Maybe not. I'm going to put it, all of the videos that I mentioned, I'm going to put in the iCard. Another one, which was super fun. Oh my goodness, the Black Panther transformation. I loved, loved doing that. That was so amazing to do. And then lastly, which one? Oh, the one I did with Christmas, why your hair is always dry. That was so fun to make. Like it, it made a little, it made some people upset, but it was so fun to make, I'm not gonna lie. Um. So yeah, honorable mention also goes to the rice water video. Like a lot of y'all joined me through that one. Like, that video was almost on a, on a million views. I really don't know what to do with myself when I hear that. So, it is crazy. 2018 has been a crazy ride. I am excited for 2019, though. I'm excited for us to grow. Like, just to connect more and do a lot more cool creative videos. I don't know where it's gonna go this year, but... Thank you for riding along with me. Thank you for sticking in here. And like, you mean you're just gonna watch my videos and you're just gonna support me and love on me like every week when I upload a video? Like, how cool is that? So, I'm super appreciative to you and yeah, like, best wishes, best wishes, that's not what I wanted to say, best wishes for 2019 and um, yeah. I'll see you next week. I hope you guys... Dude, January is going to be a little bit quiet. I think it's going to be like one video a week. And from February, I really want to go hard. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like kind of like a chit-chat video without a lot of editing. Because that will make it easier for me to upload more videos. I really want to upload more. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Which video of mine did you really like in 2018? What was your favorite video and why? Um, and then with the products, like did you did you think I was gonna pick those products? Did you expect other products? Like maybe I forgot some bangers of 2018. So remind your girl, help a sister out. <laughs> Enough talking. Um, so I'ma go. Like I said, if you are not subscribed, please do and you become part of the family. Follow me on Instagram, because 2019 gonna be the year that we pop off on Instagram. So, you wanna be able to say you was part of the OG family. You know, you know. I'ma put the next video, like, right here. Yes, yes, yes. And then I will see you in the next one. Yes? Happy New Year! <laughs> Bye!